I spent the past month trying to unlock another stream of income for myself by becoming a UGC content creator, and I filmed the entire process. Stay tuned to the end to see if I succeeded and got any clients, or if I didn't, because that's okay too. <laughs> Hello and welcome to part two of my UGC creator video series. So in this video, essentially, I will be sharing with you a video diary style in real time of my process to becoming a UGC creator when I had no idea what I was doing. If this is your first time hearing the word UGC or you know what it is and you are trying to figure out the steps involved to get started, then I have a whole separate video on that. But in this video, I am very confused. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but I felt like it was super important to share this with you guys because on the internet, we see a lot of people's success stories. Like I cannot tell you the amount of times, you know, I'm scrolling on TikTok and I see people talking about how they made 10K months from their side hustles, but nobody ever shows you step one. You know, you see people's step 1000, but truthfully, 99% of us are out here still hustling, still trying to get that first client or first five clients, you know? And I'm going to show you guys like the very first steps, like the realistic steps that it took me to get to where I am right now. And if you are an aspiring UGC creator or influencer, I just want to say, don't give up. It's definitely a hustle. It's a long game. And try not to focus too much on the numbers. Just focus on everything you're learning along the way. But now, without further ado, I present to you my kind of cringy UGC video diary. <laughs> Enjoy. So the first thing that you need as a UGC creator is a portfolio that's kind of like a resume, I guess. It's like how brands can kind of visually see what you're all about. So I have been working on my portfolio, my UGC portfolio for the past couple of weeks. I've kind of just been slowly picking away at it. And I'm really happy with how it's looking right now. So I'm just gonna share with you what I have right now. I'm really proud of it. Here we have my services, uh, influencer and UGC creator, and then some sample content. I made this all on Canva for free. So yeah, you can like click on one of the videos and it starts playing my UGC content that I made. And then a contact me page where I added a form, a type form. Um, let me know your feedback on that if you have any. I feel kind of lost. <laughs> so here I go. I'm kind of just winging it, to be honest. I don't... Maybe I should write some scripts. <laughs> Hello, voiceover Jess here. So as I mentioned, this video is not a tutorial. This is not a good example of what you should do. It was still great practice and the videos turned out okay. But what I would do differently next time is I would pick out four different niches of video topics and choose products based on that. So do I wanna work with beauty brands? Do I wanna work with houseware? You know. Pick the four niches that you can see yourself working with, and then I would produce four videos showcasing different video styles. So maybe one of them being ASMR, the other one being maybe a little bit more humorous, just showing a bunch of variety, and that involves doing some research on what kind of clients are out there first. More on that in the next video where I actually share with you my advice and everything I learned, but anyways, on to the next part of this video. <laughs> Hi guys, um, so it's actually been a few weeks since the last update I made to this video. I don't really know where I left off, but all I know is that I've kind of been tweaking away at my Upwork portfolio. That's all I've really been doing. And I have basically finished all of the video samples that I was editing uh, for UGC stuff, put it all together into my Upwork profile. and. I still don't really have it all figured out yet. There's so many like little things that I'm discovering. It's like all these little things that you need to ask, you know, once you start reaching out to clients or, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out how to reach out to clients, first of all. I actually started looking through a bunch of like jobs on Upwork that are currently available. 
and I found one. Someone is looking basically for a female to create a try on video with their pants. And their budget is $150, which is actually what I was thinking of charging per video anyway. Um, it looks like they just posted this like today. So I went through to see what it's like to apply for something on Upwork. It kind of gives you different options on how you want to be paid. And I checked off by project. And then there's like this whole application section. I'm typing up like a cover letter. I'm basically just giving them examples of my work and my portfolio and stuff. And all that's left for me to do is to just click submit. And I just, I don't know, I'm, I feel like I'm second guessing myself a lot, but I'm gonna do it because I feel like I, you know, that's all that's really left to do is like apply for UGC jobs. So I'm gonna click send. Here we go. I did it. Hi guys. Um, so it is Saturday night right now and I just came home from hanging out with some friends. So basically yesterday, I sent out two applications on Upwork to various um, UGC projects and one of them actually messaged me um, asking for more information about how everything works. They seem a little bit lost and I'm a little bit lost so perfect, perfect pair. I did not expect to get a response so quick. I don't even know where this will go if they'll, you know, end up choosing me or anything like that but this is exciting. It's a hundred dollar project. Just the fact that I got a message, like, it feels so real, <laughs> like, I am, I'm doing this, you know? I, I'm, I took the plunge and I am sending people things and they're responding. That validation alone is just super exciting. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I guess I'll keep you guys posted. Hello, Editing Jess, just chiming in real quick before you get to see the results of my one month UGC journey, but I wanted to give some quick context um, and just say that I only spent up to an hour max per day on this UGC stuff. Like I have a full-time job. So just keep that in mind that the results you're about to see are the result of really not that much work, <laughs> okay? Like maybe if I was doing this full-time, I would see a lot more success. But with that said, I'm pretty pleased with the results, which you'll see right now. <laughs> Hello, you've made it to the end of this video. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing the same thing as in the intro of this video because I just filmed it. But I wanted to update you guys because the last thing I shared with you in this vlog is how I reached out to some people, people reached out to me. Unfortunately, the one that I was talking about in the previous clip never heard back from them, got ghosted, which is totally a normal part of the process. But I am happy to announce that I am actually working with a client now on growing their UGC content for their TikTok account. It's kind of an ongoing project. It's not like a one-time deal, um, but I'm super excited about it. Obviously, I come from a content creation background. I've had this YouTube channel for several years now, but they specifically loved my UGC portfolio and the videos in it. But to all of the people claiming that they have made $10,000 in their first month of creating UGC content, I don't know, I, I smell a little bit of bullshit on that. <laughs> but yeah, that's my update. I have learned so much through this process and I wanna share all of my key learnings and wisdom with you guys in an upcoming video because there's a lot of things. There's some good, some very bad that I feel like you guys should be aware of. So. Yeah, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.